Alrighty, welcome guys. Let's get started. And here's the chapter nine study guide. Just kidding, it's not chapter nine, it's chapter 12. Okay, um, name and label parts. Uh, first of all, AC is a diameter. It goes through the center. AE is a radius. HD, HD's right down here, is also a radius. GD is a tangent line. FM, FM is a chord, doesn't go through the center. F is a point of tangency. H is the center of the circle. <clears throat> AMC is a semicircle. And FCM is going to be over 180, so it's a major arc. And DHK is a central angle. The only thing we didn't really have there was a minor arc. Okay, minor arc would be like AF or MA. And we didn't have an inscribed angle like MFE. That angle right in there would be inscribed. Find the area of the circumference of the circle. So, well, the circumference is just pi d or 2 pi r. So it's just 16 pi. <clears throat> the radius is 8, so we're just going to do pi r squared, which is 8 squared, so 64 pi. A bicycle has a wheel of 28 centimeters of diameter. Find the approximate distance the cycle moves forward during 20 revolutions. Well, I'm finding the distance around the circle, so that's circumference. Um, so that's going to be just c equals 28 pi. And if it does 20 revolutions, you're just going to do 28 pi times 20. That's pretty much it. And I'm going to leave it in terms of pi because, whoop, never mind, just, I'm kidding. I'm not going to leave it in terms of pi. It asked me to round in the nearest hundred. So we're going to multiply that by pi. And we end up with 1,759.1029. And we're talking about centimeters. Find the area of a circle with a circumference of 36. So that's going to be 36 pi is equal to 2 pi r. If we divide by 2 pi, r is going to be equal to 18. And then we just have to do uh, pi 18 squared. And we're going to get 324 pi. Okay. Find the circumference of a circle with an area of this, we're going to do a very similar tactic. Um, C equals uh, 2 pi r, so we're going to get 706.86 equals 2 pi r. We can actually divide by 2 pi at the same time. So 706.86 divided by 2 pi. Now the way I put in my calculator is I go ahead and use parentheses, and we get 112.5. Oh, my bad. That's area. I totally messed that up. I'm sorry. I'm supposed to divide that by uh, just pi and then square root it. I'm so sorry. So let's try that again. 1.786 divided by pi. I thought that was looking weird. Um, we get 225. This makes a lot more sense. So we get 225 equals r squared. So when we take the square root of that number, we're going to get 15. I'm sorry, that was the incorrect way of doing it. I wanted area. Okay, there we go. Now we're better. So if r is 15, we're going to do 2 times pi 15, which is 30 pi. All right, find the arc measure using the circle below. Okay, well, a couple things that we can do. This arc right here is 53. This whole thing is 90 because the central angle is 90. So 53, uh, take it away from 90. It's going to give me 37 degrees right there, so CB is 37. And now if I add 37, 79, and take it away from 180, okay, like that. Now I did it backwards, but we get 64 for AB. ED is uh, the whole circle, all this, minus, uh, let's take that away from 360, so we're going to 360 minus 79 plus 64 plus 37 plus 53. And we get 127. 
and then E B D is 180 plus 53 so 180 plus 53 which is going to give me 233 I did this one with most kids in class I believe but if not we'll just talk about it real quick solve for X <clears throat> Well, I see in the pink we have 180. So I do 45 plus 6x plus 33. I can set equal to 180 and I solve x equals 17. And then FDB is this yellow arc. Well, FCD is 180 and then we just have to add 28 and we get 208. Find the sector length and area of the shaded region. So the shaded region is opposite of 80. So it's gonna be 300 over uh, 360 times um, pi 4 squared, that's going to give me the sector. And then we do the exact same thing, but this time we do times 2 pi 4. Okay, and that's going to be our length. So two different equations, and when we do that, We're going to come up with the sector area to be 41.87 um, square centimeters. And then this one's going to be 300 divided by 360 uh, times 2 times 4 and then times pi. And we're going to get about 20.94 centimeters. Just single centimeters, centimeters squared for that one. Okay, shaded segment. So to find the segment, we're gonna go ahead and find the sector. Sector is 120 over 360 times um, pi 12 squared. So we can find that to be 48 pi. And then we're gonna subtract that from the area of the triangle well, if we cut this down, we're going to get 60, 60, 30, and 30. And then that's 12. That's our 2x. So across from the 30, this is going to be 6. And then this is going to be 6 red 3. That's 6 red 3. So we're going to have 1 half the base, which is going to be 6 red 3 plus 6 red 3. That's going to be 12 red 3 times the height of 6. <coughs> which is going to give us 62.353829. And I can just go to 48 pi minus my answer, and we're going to get 88.44 units squared, because it is an area. OK, solve for the arc length. So this is just going to be 110. I'm assuming we're looking at this piece here. It wasn't very clearly labeled. Uh, over 360 times 2 pi 18. And uh, 110 divided by 360. And then times 2 times 18 gives us 11 pi. So we can get 11 pi centimeters. If the circle below is raised to 15, find the length of UXW. So U, X, W is going to be 180 plus 90. Okay, so that's going to give me 270 over 360 times 2 pi 15. Again, length. We're looking for using that circumference. So 270 divided by 360 times 2 times 15. Um, that's going to give us about 22.5 pi. Uh, centimeters. Uh, this one I kind of already solved. It's 100. Um, but the way we did that is we have congruent um, chords right here and here. And what's cool about congruent chords, it gives me congruent um, arcs. So that's 130, 130. So I can add those together and subtract from 360 and I get 100. So basically, 260 minus 360, that's how we get 100. Uh, down here also, 
we take the, the radius here, we can plot the radius over there, make that 90, a chord hits a radius at 90, and it bisects, so that's how we got 9 and 10, and then x squared. And we use Pythagorean's theorem, we get 13.45. Number 23, um, MHT is this angle right here, and then MAT is this angle right there, um, they both open up to the same arc MT, which means they're congruent to each other. So we just saw them equal to each other. Subtract that over there, we get 3x. Add the 10 over there, we get 30. x equals 10. And then to find that, we're going to actually plug it back in. So mat is going to be 10 plus 20. So this is 30 degrees. So we're going to double it and get 60 degrees up there. Again, I plug this in to right there to get MAT is 30 degrees, and then an inscribed angle is half of its intercepted arc. 28, we have two tangents to the same circle. That means they must be congruent to each other. So we can go ahead and solve, subtract that. We get 6x, uh, add the 19 to 23, and we get 42, and divide by 6, x equals 7. All right, here we have, uh, again, these congruent segments. Since I know this piece is 6, I can take 27 and subtract 6. I get 21, so this is 21 and that's 21. And then I can just add up the perimeter. So it's 6 times 2 plus um, 21 times 2 plus uh, 28 times 2. And so we get 110, mm, I don't know, units. So find the shaded region, I believe I asked you to find this piece, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. Uh, we get 122 over 360 would be to find this piece. So I don't want to do 122. I want to do the inverse of that. So if I subtract uh, 122 from 360, I'm going to get 238 uh, over 360 times pi 10 squared. So 238 divided by 360 times 100, which is 10 squared, and times pi you don't get a nice even number, so we'll just find the area as a decimal. And it's about 207.7. So the shaded region is this piece in here that we're looking for. So we have to find the sector, okay, and the triangle. So the sector is pretty simple, 60 over 360 times pi 7 squared. Get about 25.65634 minus, then we have to find the triangle. We can break the triangle down like this, 90, uh, seven's right here. This is gonna be uh, 60 in the corner and 30 down here. So this is two X, this is gonna become half of it. So 3.5 and 3.5, which makes seven. So it's gonna be one half the base, which is seven. And this is gonna be 3.5 rad three times 3.5 rad 3. Sorry, kind of a little messy in there. And then we're going to go ahead and find that value and subtract them. So 7 times 3.5 times rad 3 divided by 2, Okay, which gives us about 21.21762. And then if I write that first one subtracted by the second one, We should get our answer for about 4.42, uh, or sorry, 4.43, 4 uh, and that's going to be in square inches. Write the equation of circle with the center at negative 4, negative 1, the diameter of 16. Well, the radius is going to be 8, so I just plug in my formula, x minus a negative 4, that becomes x plus 4 squared, plus y minus a negative 1, which becomes y plus 1 squared, equals... 8 is the radius, so I have to square it, so it's going to become 64. Here I'm pulling the center out. You take the opposite of what you see and square root that guy. There you go, you got 11. We've done a lot of these, but here we're doing uh, complete the square on this guy. So this one went a little bit fast. Um, and we have uh, the negative uh, x squared minus 6x, so it's going to basically add 9 to both sides. 
That's where we got the 9 from. This becomes x minus 3. Uh, and same thing over here, we add the 1, becomes x minus 1. You get that nice little equation. Okay. And on the back side here, our last pieces. Um, use the circle to find the measurements. ML is this segment here, so it's just going to be double 59. So it's 118. Again, it opens up from 59, so you get 118. MJ is uh, going to be 360, or 180 minus 118, which is going to be 62 degrees. And then JLK, JLK is opening to 134, so you're just going to do half of 134, which is 67. And JLM is half of MJ, which is going to be 31. Sorry, 31's down here, 62's up there. Not bad. Okay. Uh, this one, we know 94 is going to equal, um, or half of 94 is going to equal this. We can actually do 9x minus 25 equals 94 divided by 2. Well, 94 divided by 2 is just 47, so we can just write 47. Uh, add 25 over, 9x equals 72, divide by 9, we get x equals 8. Okay, so last two problems here, <clears throat> I believe, right? Yeah, here we go. Uh, RAI, so from here all the way to there is 2x minus 9. IN, the arc, is 58, and RN is 44. Um, well, we know the whole circle, so all we have to do is add them all up, instead of equal to 360. Okay, so let's move all these whole positive numbers. 44 plus 58 minus 9 is 93, so we're going to actually subtract 93 from both sides. So 360 minus 93. So we have 267 equals 2x, then divide by 2, and we get <clears throat> x equals 133.5. Sorry, the lights went out on me. And then we want to find the measure of R A I. Um, oh, we didn't even have to do that. Huh, Mr. Smith, what a rookie you are. Um, I'm trying to find this angle, and I just got so jazzed about doing extra math. I should have just done 44 plus 58 divided by 2. So this whole, oh my gosh, Mr. Smith. So this guy right here opens up to this, so that's a 102, so just take half of it, it's 51. Wow, that was easy. <clears throat> Down here, the 12 goes here, this is 90, they meet at 90. So Pythagorean's theorem, you get 144 plus 256 equals, this is gonna be box method, x12, x12, we get x squared, 12x, 12x, and 144. And we're going to go ahead and get x squared plus 24x plus 144. We can subtract 144 from both sides. Um, we can... Uh, uh, um, and then we can get x squared plus 24x, and I'm going to subtract 256 equals 0. Um, we can factor this. I'm now thinking that there's a better way to do this problem. Um, let's do it the easier way. Here's the easier way to do it. Um, pretend that this whole thing is called y. Let's just do that. That's way easier. This works. It's just gonna, we're going to have to factor it, and it's just going to be um, a little trickier. Uh, over here, we're going to get 12 squared plus uh, 16 squared, which is 144 plus 256. So we get 400 equals y squared. Take the square root. We get 20 equals y. So if 20 is the whole length, we know that's 12. X has to be 8. Sorry, I took you down a very uh, long path on that one. Okay. So there you go. All set and done. And good luck.